The entry field sizes in the Judicial Council form sometimes are not large enough for your data, or maybe there's no existing field in which to put your information. The solution is to add a new field. This added field can be any size and can be placed in any location you want on the form. Here's how to add a field. Click on Edit at the top of the menu bar, then select Add User Field, or click the Add User Field icon on your menu bar, or right-click in the form and select Add User Field from the drop-down menu. Your cursor will now become active. Move the cursor to where you want to create a new field. Now hold down the left mouse button and drag your mouse to draw a ruled text field. Release the left mouse button when you have the size you want. It is also possible to add a field by just using this step without using any of the methods mentioned above. Click in the new field and begin typing. You can move, resize, delete, or change all the characteristics of this field by simply right-clicking on the new field to get the properties. If you click Move, the user field becomes active, and you can move that field until you click to drop it off. If you need to size the field, you can right-click from Properties or hover near the left, right, top or bottom edge of the user field. The cursor becomes a side-to-side -side arrow. Hold down the left click and drag releasing the mouse button to set the size. Another available option is to change the font type or size within the user field. Highlight the text, right-click in the user field, and click Attributes from the drop-down. If you want to remove the user field, right-click in the user field and click Delete from the drop-down. Once you've created a form template with the pre-filled data, you simply copy that template to another client's folder and all the data from that client's database will also flow into the form. Create a new client folder and name it Form Templates to distinguish it from your real clients. You may also want to set up several matter subfolders for different types of cases. Select the filing core and select the filing attorney. Click on the Forms Library tab. Select and open up as many new forms as you'd like and these will now appear in the Open Forms tab. Now fill in only the template data that you want to carry over to every client. Be sure to save the forms. Click on the Client Information tab and look for your Form Templates folder. By simply copying that form template into the Client's Matter folder, it will fill in data from that client's database. There are several ways to do this. From your Form Templates folder, select the form that you want to copy to a client's folder. Select Copy from the Edit menu at the top. Now scroll to the client you want and click on the Matter folder where the copy will be placed. Click on the Edit menu again and select Paste. This will place a copy of that template form into the selected Client Matter folder. Or use the drag and drop function and simply drag a form from the template forms folder and drop it into the appropriate clients folder. The form will now reflect the client's database information and all of your pre-filled template data. Sometimes you'll want to attach notes or instructions to a form. Client Notes. Use this technique when you want to record a note that relates to the client rather than to a specific form. Here's how you do it. Click on the Client Information tab. Click on the Client icon itself or the Client name. This will display the Client Notes window on the right side of the screen. To create a note, click on the Add Notes icon in the upper left corner of the Client Notes screen. This will imprint the date and also the logon user ID if you're using a network version. Now, just type in your note to the right of the ruler line. If you want to edit a previous note, click on the Edit Notes icon. Once you've finished typing the note, you can click the Save Changes Disk icon on the icon bar, then click the blue refresh arrow icon on the icon bar. A music note icon will now show just to the left of the client head icon, indicating client notes exist for that client. Like the client notes, you can add form notes to a saved form in the Client Information tab. This is especially useful for quickly differentiating forms with the same name. Sometimes there is not enough space in a field to enter all the data. By using the Shrink to Fit feature, this function will automatically reduce the font size of your text as you near the end of the field. The field starts with a 12-point font as you are typing. When you reach the end of the field, you'll get a pop-up Shrink to Fit confirmation window. This field is full. 
Would you like to shrink the font in this field? The two checkboxes warn me once for each field, which is checked by default, and use shrink to fit automatically. Do not display this warning box again, which is not checked. If you click yes, the font will change to 10 point and then to 8 point if necessary. We don't shrink the font any smaller than that to keep it readable. If you select no, you'll get a ding sound and the field maintains the current font size. If you decide to use the existing field, omitting the text that won't fit, you can restore the font to a larger size by highlighting the text, right-clicking, and clicking Attributes from the drop-down menu. You may adjust the Shrink to Fit settings by going to the top menu bar, selecting Configure, Preferences from the drop-down, click on the Data Fields tab, and towards the bottom of the page, select the choice you want. 